Hi, my name is Dion Green with Stratford Technology, and I'm going to go over a demonstration of how to use um, dynamic dimensionality when building reports in SmartView um, in conjunction with HFF. The version of SmartView that we're using is 11.1.2.5.520, and the version of Excel that we're using is Excel 2013. Before we get into the actual demonstration, I want to go over a few pros and cons of using dynamic dimensions. Uh, the first is in pros is that new members are automatically included in reports when you refresh the query. Um, that leads to degrees uh, report maintenance because uh, you won't have uh, things that are missing. So you have better accuracy and more complete reports. And if someone messes something, something up in the structure of the report, it's easy to rebuild it by just rerunning the query. Um, some of the cons is that it's not practical for all reporting requirements. Um, and given as such, um, if you have some very specific formatting and structural needs of a specific report, um, then the strict structure of the query itself does not allow for that. So it's very difficult to work with that in some ways. So for basic reports um, that don't require a lot of formatting and specific requirements, um, it's, it's a great practical way of doing it, um, but it's not made for everything. <clears throat> All right, so let's go into the demonstration. Let me first start off by showing you um, the difference between a static report. And this is a very basic static report, um, just with the counts going down, in this case, the income statement, and the months across the top. <clears throat> don't, don't data, but it doesn't really matter here, because uh, we're just more concerned about what the, the account numbers are in this case. <clears throat> um, you can see right here, if um, you know, if I were to get rid of an item in this list here, because it's built in a static way, it's not gonna automatically update itself. Um, whereas if we compare that to this next tab here, um, uh, you notice it's tagged as sheet one report that has kind of the, the telltale sign that this was built with a query because there's another sheet one with a query on it. <clears throat> so um, this report looks pretty much the same as uh, the static one. Uh, it's just however it's been built a little bit differently and so that it's more dynamic. Um, and the way we can tell by that is we can come in here and open up the query designer and you can see when it uh, sheet one query opens up, you can see the layout of the query. Uh, it's using the expansion um, functionality, um, whereby it, this is taking income statement and busting out uh, to all descendants. Um, you don't have to do it that way, but for simplicity in this case, I just wanted to do it real quick. Uh, but you could just break that out of the individual pieces or parents in there and then have them expand as required as you build your query. Um, and uh, so you can get a little more specific to that, but I was just keeping it simple here. Um, and I'll go into how you how I built this, but I just wanted to show the back end of what the query looks like. Um, to run it, you can do the apply query here, or you can run the report right here. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the apply query over here this first time. And you'll notice what happens is the query sheet will disappear itself, um, or be hidden actually, and, and, and then you're back to this place over here. So to prove uh, the point of where we, if we delete a, a line or we add a new member, let's just pretend that telephone expense either was not there or someone deleted it by accident. Um, by doing a normal refresh, you can see that it won't show up by itself. I was just refreshing the data there. <clears throat> once it's done, I'll show you how you get it back. So once uh, you come in here and you run, just rerun the report, and that will bring back your data and the dimensionality. Um, as it's running, you'll, see, you'll notice that that line telephone expense will, will uh, repopulate in the structure of the report and bam, you're back there. Likewise, same thing if that was just brand new, it would show up in the structure. Um, so thereby you don't have to worry about uh, maintaining uh, as much in your reports. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and we're gonna create this query again, uh, for the most part, at least the structure here. And the way I do that within this one, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a sheet because it doesn't. Uh, as a separator here, as a blank one, because what you do when you add it, uh, we want it to start fresh. So uh, if you go over to your shared connections and right click on the given connection that you want to be on, you click the query designer, it'll uh, add some more sheets here and give you a basic structure to start off with. <clears throat> All right, um, and you'll notice that it's going to give you um, this. Uh, query sheet over here. This is how we're going to use to build it. Um, and the, the ways you build it is you drag and drop into the sections. You have the column section, the row section, and then the everything else section. Um, if I wanted to, this is already set up the way that I need it, but 
the way you do it is you just grab a piece that you want and you drag it. I'm just going to put it up here just for uh, demonstration purposes. And you notice over here, you see now you got the scenarios over here next to the accounts. And if I just want to put that back because I don't really need that in this sample, I'll just drag it back down. <clears throat> so what you'll do is you'll go ahead and make all your selections of the members that you want over here. And then likewise, you'll do the same thing here. So I'm going to start with the period I mentioned. And I'm going to go ahead and just build it the same way that we had in our sample <clears throat> so you can see it. Um, so the way I'm going to do this in here is I'm going to have each of the quarters, and I'm going to move those over. Um, the children, and I'll just go ahead and move the year down at the end there. Say OK. And that's going to populate it over here for me. And then if I do the same for the account dimension, this is going to be a little bit more simple. And if I go to the income statement, and I'm going to have the expansion by all the descendants here, push it over. Um, I'm going to get rid of the none. Say OK. <clears throat> so now I have the basic structure of uh, the query, just like what we saw previously. And now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and just run this query. It's going to flash and blink and everything. And you have, you see the query sheet will disappear. And there you have it. Now we have this report. And it looks just like these other two. And then if you need to modify this at any point, you would just come up to here. And you can come back into the query designer and I'll show you this and then you can make your modifications over here and apply it or run it and then be back to where you were. Uh, and then just don't forget that you want to save your file so that you can save the query the way it was designed. All right. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you and I look forward to seeing you again.